Hey guys, it's Armelier here, and I have the first look of iOS 5 on the iPad for you. Um, I just managed to get my hands on it, and I want to give you guys a quick preview of what it looks like. So when you install it, this is what you'll see on your iPad. This lovely new screen uh, with the uh, folder background that we're used to and the big iPad logo on there. So uh, this is the first time I'm opening it up with you guys, so here we go. Pretty exciting. Just gonna slide to set it up. And that's what you're gonna see. Uh, it's kind of a welcome screen that we're used to in uh, Leopard. When you uh, first booted it up, it gave you this welcome screen uh, on your Mac kind of thing. So it's really cool. It asks you to select a language and you've got English, Spanish, and uh, looks like a, a whole plethora of other languages. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick with English and go forward. And uh, of course it asks you uh, what country you're in so we're in the United States but uh, if you wanted to pick another one same thing tons of countries to choose from uh, we'll go ahead and stick with the US and move forward and now it's gonna ask me to uh, choose a network and so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and select my uh, local Wi-Fi here so go ahead and put in the password all right, so I got my password in, so we're going to join the Wi-Fi network. And it's going to move us right along. All right, so we're going to either choose to set it up as a new iPad or we're going to restore it from a previous backup. And uh, since I already have a backup in my iTunes, I'm going to go ahead and get that done. So we'll go ahead and say restore from iTunes. And it's going to say uh, plug it into your iTunes. So just hit next and we're going to connect it to iTunes now. We'll go ahead and literally match the picture here. All right, so we're plugged into iTunes and we're going to go ahead and run a backup. Now keep in mind guys that this is uh, going to require the, I or, um, the iTunes 10.5 uh, beta to be installed. Uh, iOS 5 currently does not work with anything lower than I or, um, iTunes 10.5. So. Um, that is also a developer preview that you're going to need. So we're going to go ahead and let it restore and uh, show you what that looks like once we're all set up. Take a look at this guys. This is a brand new feature of iOS 5. You can see the little spinning wheel up here next to the Wi-Fi. It must be part of the notification system. Uh, I can't drag it down yet, but it looks like it's, uh, it's syncing up some stuff for me uh, right up here. So I cannot wait to get into this. I'm super excited. Uh, let's let it finish off the sync and then uh, I'll give you a tour. Alright guys, check it out. So my iPad is still syncing. You can see it up here. But at the moment, uh, I have uh, the new notifications popping up over top of it. Um, it can continue to serve notifications while it's syncing. So that's one of the new features of iOS 5. Uh, you can see they're still flying through here. I have notifications and I can just, you know, I could tap on one and it says slide to view so if I just slid it across uh, it would show me this notification so you just hold on it and then slide it across super awesome uh, you can see the notifications here you just hold them slide across and it would open it but since I'm syncing I don't want to do that yet I want to wait till my sync is fully completed and then um, then I could uh, then I can go in here and have a ton of fun with it but at the moment you can see new notification system iOS 5 rocks I can grab one, uh, slide it, and uh, it shows me what's going on. So let's let it continue to sync, and uh, I will give you guys uh, more of iOS 5. All right, guys, we're back, and the iPad is all synced up. We're in iOS 5, and we're going to go and head on in. We're going to go ahead and um, sign in with our Apple ID. Um, we've got this really cool scrolling marquee going on here with all the different apps. Um, let me go ahead and sign in with my Apple ID. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and log in now. Logging in with my Apple ID. And um, so it's telling me all about iCloud. And uh, you can see down here that it's on. Um, I don't know if you can see it now, but uh, let me focus back in. So anyway, you can see now that it's talking about iCloud and that iCloud is on and it's showing me the whole cloud sync thing. So we're going to go ahead and hit next. And it's talking about find my iPad, which is also on. So uh, 
we're gonna continue. It tells me all about it. You know, if I lose it, I can find it. And um, as far as diagnostics, it wants to know if I wanna automatically send them or um, not send them. So I'm gonna skip that. And my iPad's set up. I'm starting to use, um, I'm ready to start using the most advanced iOS ever. Super excited. So it just says start using iPad and bam. That was quick. So we're on iOS 5. It looks like all my folders are back where they were. And um, uh, but just some of them have been moved around. And I have a new page with the iMessages, which is really cool, and the reminders. So super excited about these new applications. Uh, I'm going to go in here and see what we got in the settings. So all the buttons have the new um, the new I, uh, iOS 5 look to them. And um, we'll go ahead and go into about and see what we got. So you can see we're on version 5.0 right here. Um, and uh, everything looks good. So let's see what else I can find in here. Software update, it's all over the air now. So you can have it checked for software updates iTunes sync automatically sync and back up your iTunes that's uh, really awesome it says it'll sync when uh, my iMac becomes available so uh, it's all wireless now I've cut the cords and I'm super excited about that the sounds same old same old the network same old same old VPN Wi-Fi Bluetooth spotlight search auto lock passcode lock uh, restrictions, lock rotation, multitasking gestures. So now I can do four or five fingers to uh, pinch to the home screen, swipe up to reveal multitasking bar, swipe left or right between apps. So let's uh, swipe up for the bar. Oops. There it is. So you just saw a four finger gesture up and then I should be able to just go home like that. So pretty awesome stuff. Four fingers up. Four fingers down and then no matter where I'm at it's a five finger gesture to take me home pretty cool stuff um, and then so wondering where I can get the me account uh, mail contact calendars I do want to set that up and here iCloud you can see it added iCloud setting to the top of my settings here in mail and uh, you go in there it has my find my iPad turned on so it's pretty cool <clears throat> and let's see what else do we have sort order okay so lots of other stuff to dig into here notifications uh, this is what I'm looking forward to the most I can pull these down look at that it's the new notification system pretty darn awesome and I can pull it all the way down or I can throw it back up there so that's cool uh, location services iCloud so I can go into iCloud check that out and I can turn on all of these things so I'm gonna sync them turn them on turn on mail create a new me email address so that's pretty awesome what we want to do well Looks like it took that one. But anyway, um, there you have it. I have my total iCloud set up and ready to go. Twitter integration installed, so I get to sign in with my Twitter account. All right, so we got, uh, we got tenor, Twitter integration, and yeah, we're gonna sign in. All right, we are in, and I can add more. I'll leave it at that for now. Well, what's really cool is this messages. Uh, this is iMessage, so I have it turned on. And um, go ahead and send read receipts. Show the subject field. So iMessage is turned on. Pretty stoked about that. Automatically download new purchase, including free made on other devices. And music. Apps. Books. So that stuff should start to sync.
take a look at this uh, quick preview of uh, how cool the multi-touch gestures are uh, in iOS 5. So I can be launched up in the iMessage app. And if I want to flick through some of the open apps, I can just use four fingers and swipe through. And now I'm in Safari, you can see uh, I'm on the web. And tab Safari, pretty cool. I can keep flicking through. Now I'm in the um, Reminders application. And if I wanted to see what I got in the multitasking view, just use four fingers to swipe up. And you can see it brings these down. And four fingers takes it back down. If I want to go home, I use my whole five fingers and pinch. And I'm right back home again. So that's just a quick uh, look at the multi-touch. Uh, tons of awesome stuff to dig into, but I uh, just wanted to give you guys a quick video uh, preview of iOS 5, that's the, uh, the cool newsstand application there, download some magazines and newspapers and uh, get your newsstand on, so lots of awesome juicy things to get into with iOS 5, hope you like the lovely cloud theme uh, for iCloud, and I uh, hope you enjoyed this review, stay tuned for more, if there's things you want to see, go ahead and leave a comment, I'll try to work that out, uh, as always, this is R. Malieri. you can find me on iosappadvice.com. Follow me on Twitter at rmalieri and at iOS App Advice. Thanks again for watching. Until next time, we'll see you later. Peace.